we've got another industrially grungy looking one probably do the edges i've left the background on this one white hi guys it's jamie here and today we're going to use a master board made from junk mail window envelope and then start to create some tags out of the master board i've put the video into sections so you have making the master board decision making process decorating the different styles of tags each tag is broken down with its own timestamp with the timestamps if you go into the description drop down the v menu you will see them listed you click on the blue time and that will take you to the bit that you're interested in or you can see them because the video if you look at it has like little bars at the bottom of the screen and you just click on the the next bar along to move forward today we're going to make a window master board from old junk mail envelopes what i've done is i've trimmed them all up so that they're single-sided only i have kept the reverse because we're using them for something else on a different video so keep the reverse and the first thing i'm going to do to make it a master board is to put them together and the way we can join them together really easily is to use the strips that have been cut away from the envelopes as the joins so glue down those strips and push everything together so that it's one big piece there are two ways to leave the window clear one is to cut the paper around the window just going slightly over which is the quick way another if you want a, a whole paper piece of look is to take a pencil to outline around the window put it over the window grab something that gives you some firmness and then rub really quite hard around that window area you're not going to probably be able to feel exactly where that is and it brings up a line. When it brings up that line, you want to cut inside of that line. Okay, eventually get that bit out. So that's another bit of scrap for your master board anyway. What you have is a piece of paper that covers your window and is one piece rather than these patchy ones that you get when you use several pieces. So it's entirely up to you which system you use. Although this takes more time, I prefer this system. Any glue, carefully go round the edge of the window smooth it down what i will do is initially i'm going to do all the windows first because i'd rather use one piece of paper if i've got one big enough in the scrap box if not i'll do the patching technique the next thing to do is just to fill in any bits that haven't been covered with your spare scrap paper which is what i've been doing anyway from the eight envelope front master board i've ended up with seven because i cut one really badly seven frames to make into journaling cards and then i had a bit of leftover and that's like three tiny little journaling cards in themselves and i was debating with these windows how to do it what i've decided to do is to go through a book I've got and see how many scenes we can see that would fit in a window that makes sense and actually the scene will dictate probably some of what goes on in front so some of the decoration the final decoration on the front of this here we've got a steam train at sunset and that appears to work I'm going to take that picture out Hold those two together for cutting out in a minute i'm going to try and get as many as i can from one book we've got this cornish riviera advert and actually can you see that that looks quite nice so that one can come out because it does fit unfortunately you see that the black lines if that had been slightly bigger that would have been perfect but it's not another picture of a train <laughs> could end up with a lot of train pictures but it is kind of cool you know that's a cool picture of a train i may have to switch to a magazine in a minute i pulled this book which is england is a garden 
which has little watercolour illustrations. I thought this is bound to be fairly easy to find things, surely. It had black and white one of a daffodil. That doesn't quite fit. You see, these are quite large flowers. That's the thing. So it's looking for something that is obviously going to work that you can see as flowers. Like that one just about works, I think. Do those flowers work? Mm. These must do, surely. Possibly is okay, depending on positioning. Be sweet. I've no idea what you would do to decorate round a mouse. He's cute and different, so we'll take him. Oh, I like the orange. Get plenty of that in there. It might work if we do something like this, because then you won't get all the white background. So you have like a darker background then. That works quite well. Don't know that you think flowers though. The images are so large. It took me a little while, but I found this advert in a magazine. And when I did that, I thought she looks quite old fashioned. And I'm sure one of these windows will work with her. I think I'm gonna end up knocking some of this color back. I'm not sure yet. I've cut these down, some of which have gone quite small, some I've kept slightly bigger. And now, having looked at them really, really carefully, I am going to scrub over some white gesso. I know you've seen me do this before, just not liking some of, some of the colour combinations on these. And it's the only solution I can think of at this moment in time. If you've not seen me do this before, you can do carry on watching. If you have, skip forward to the next section, that's fine. Taking a bit of white gesso on a smallish brush because we don't want to, we're trying to avoid going over the window. What I do is I scrub over the background a bit, not everywhere, just in places. Obviously up to the edges are difficult. This is going to be delicate and not as free as I normally do it because I am trying to avoid that window. We create a sort of muting of the colours, thicker in some places. It's not meant to be even, it's meant to be more like, as I've said before, you've peeled off loads and loads of wallpaper in an old house and you're revealing the plaster and multi layers of wallpaper. That's how I see it. I do feel like it needs this effect to bring it down. I will do this on basically all of them. Okay, I've tried staining it with Vintage Photo. I tried three. And looking at the ones that haven't been stained, I prefer the white version. I'm gonna go with decorating all of them because it's a stash builder. For this one, you could just put the frame rounder at an angle. This one needs staining. I've glued this one on and trimmed it up around the original shape. It's definitely interesting. I was wondering whether I needed to add a little bit of detail in this corner. I don't think it hurts. Let that dry and come back and put a postmark or one of my little stamps that I like over that. Meanwhile, boat. I did find this image from my kids train book kind of like a train but with a sail <laughs> anyway I felt it went with the theme of boats I was wondering if you just add a few little extra pieces to create a collage at the bottom different levels different layers probably a stamp there though it's a bit complex I think it balances that a little bit so I've stamped this one and I've put this one together and then in my little die cuts box I found that four and I thought that was quite cute. So I might use more of those little die cuts that I did the other day from the master board which are here and I haven't used all of them. There's some numbers and some cogs and things like that. Then I also found a little book that's got loads of pictures in them. I was wondering about using some things like this as well. 
with these for example you've got this train here and then maybe rather than use lots of pictures just use some layering of numbers and labels and things like that we've got a cog it's a very similar color mind and i've got labels and numbers somewhere oh i've got some cut up here a few things like this and you could just create a bit of layering that way where's that cog i'm wondering if you can do the cog if you do it there mm. Maybe, maybe one of the raised numbers again. Oh, we have a key. I'm gonna try it. So let's do the ticket first. Pop all of this lot down and then see what the finishing touch might be. Here we go. We've got another industrially grungy looking one. Probably do the edges. I wonder if we should do something a bit more glamorous. Quite like those so far. They're different anyway. This one. I'm wondering if we should just maybe get some gold on it. Throw on some patches of gold and then we'll decide what to do. Add to this background for the time being. Have things like this. Pop it down. bit different I think the colors now wrong the background color is now wrong I think that needs to not be white we should just add a word or something to this love today How about that technically doesn't need it I think I'll put it on anyway might do another gold one but do it gold like the red flowers so this time stain it first oh look at that I've got it all over my ink toothbrush might get it to spread on cool very glittery love it don't know if it needs a word or not I'll have a little look full quote in the spring rain the pondering river has become one it's quite nice i like that one mouse and i think with the mouse we just want to do some kind of flower i'm gonna go with the red and when that's dry trim that up we have a train left and again we've got bits of paper could tear at them got a number paper and then something else like a belt thing it's only tiny i'm just wondering do we do possibly i should have put it there but it's there now I might stamp just because it's looking a bit clean whole lot just stamp over it better do i want to edge that one i don't think i do or if i do i'll edge it in black Okay. I don't know if that needs a plain label sticker. What did I do with those? That one. No, gonna have a little sticker. It needs to maybe be a neutralish one and small. That. Yeah, that works. And then somewhere is that all of them? And then there's the tags, isn't there? These tags. I wanted to go for a slightly different look. So I went through my sticker boxes and found this one, which I'd forgotten all about, which says French and pinups, and this one, which says Tim Holtz. So I thought we'd have a look at these and see what there is. Little beachy girl. And literally you could do that with a ticket. You've basically got a label done. Oh, she's quite small could have her sitting on a little label part of me wants a little something there yeah so that would go across there could have her on there but she wouldn't get fully on okay 
might edge that one with the pink. Just wondering what this one is going to look like. It's fired brick. Yeah, quite like that. Final one. Either got a flower or can we get a whole pinup girl on there? We can. That might work. I'll try blue just so it's different. This is Stormy Sky. Nice. That's it for this video. I feel like I've actually managed to get a decent amount of stash done in a day. These just need backing, but that can wait until they're going to be used. So we have the glittery ones. A uh, more grungy masculine type one. That one, I don't know, arty. Grungy, masculine, girly, cute. <laughs> and then our pinup girls. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help YouTube push this content out to new potential subscribers, which is a free way that you can support this channel, as is subscribing. Currently I'm uploading three times a week. Normally I aim for five. It really does depend what the content of each video is as to how long it takes to make and more importantly edit them. Let me know what you think of this project in the comments below and I will see you next time.